In this video, we're going to talk about sites. We're going to actually create a new site and we're going to discuss how to migrate feature lines to that site or copy them to a new site. This is important because you may have some feature lines that you want to have interact with each other, but you don't want to place them on an existing site because you don't want those feature lines to interact with the objects that you already have in an existing site. So we're going to go ahead and create that new site to migrate our feature lines to. Currently in our drawing, we only have one feature line, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and create this new site by going to sites and right clicking and selecting new. So inside of that, we can choose a name for this. For this site, we're actually just going to call it migrate because afterwards we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. So we're just dealing with for migrating and copying. So we're going to go to 3D geometry. This just gives us information on how we're going to display the information on that site. And then this is the numbering information on how those parcels are going to be numbered inside of our site. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply and hit OK. We now have a site called migrate. Uh, so what we can do now is we can select our feature line and we can modify and move it to that site if we wanted to just up and move the site out of the none site and move it into our migrate site. Now, if you want to keep that feature line inside of the none site and not have it migrated to our migrate site, and you just want to create a copy of it, what you can also do is you can go to this modify and you can go to copy site. So you can go copy to site. And then you can drop down and select migrate and then you can select OK. So now what we effectively have is inside of feature lines, we have this feature line here. And if I right click and select, it will have that feature line selected for me. Or if I go to the migrate site and I go to my feature lines and I go to feature line two and I select it, it'll also select that feature line. And so what we effectively do is we have two feature lines occupying the same space, not interacting with each other, but they are in different locations. Now we can edit this feature line. It won't affect that feature line, or we can edit this feature line and it won't affect the feature line inside of our migrate site. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to take this migrate site. We are going to delete it. So we're going to select and erase, and then we're going to go ahead and go to migrate and we're going to delete it and say yes.